Hey everyone, it's Chef Tom here from President's Choice Cooking Schools. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really easy bread recipe. This recipe is actually my mom's recipe. We baked off the loaf earlier, and now I'm gonna show you how easy this really is. So let me show you the ingredients we're gonna be using today. We have one kilo of all-purpose flour, or about eight cups, about two tablespoons of salt, a little bit of olive oil, and then I have 650 milliliters of warm water, and I've added my yeast, seven grams of yeast, and a little bit of sugar, about a teaspoon of sugar, and I mixed it around. What that's gonna do, it's gonna start activating my yeast, and we're gonna wait about five minutes to make sure that the yeast is happening and we're getting those lovely bubbles, and then we're gonna start our dough. So now our yeast is ready to go. You can see the bubbles on top forming, so the yeast is alive, it's in good shape. So then if you go to our bowl here, what I've done is I've added our salt and I've mixed it in together and then I've made a little well in the middle. And now simply, I'm going to add the liquid right into the center and I'll put it all in here. I'm just gonna get all that yeast out, just a touch. And I'm gonna start off with a little bit of olive oil too. I'm gonna put the olive oil on the edges right here. And then I'm going to just simply start moving it. I'm going to start using, if you've noticed, I'm using the handle of the wooden spoon. So that kind of prevents my hands from getting there initially so they don't get too sticky. But eventually, I'll have to use the best tool in the kitchen, which is obviously my hands and everybody's hands. So when I was a kid, I used to watch my mom do this all the time. I think at this point, I can start getting my hands in there. So I'm just going to take a scraper. Scrape off the dough. And in I go with nice clean hands. And I'm just going to try and incorporate all that flour. So we've incorporated all that flour. And then I'm going to pull out my dough. And then I'm going to start kneading my dough. There's really no right or wrong way. What you want to do is you just want to work it, build all those glutens, get that yeast and gluten all together. The carbon dioxide from the yeast, you want to activate that, move that. So this is a great way to get out your frustrations. You know, I'm sure everybody's having fun at home together, but you know what? If you're having a bad day, working with dough really helps. So you can punch it a little bit, Move it around, add a little bit more flour here. It's getting a bit too sticky. And just pull it and back, pull it and back. And you wanna do this for about 10 minutes. Okay, so that should be enough. We've needed that for about 10 minutes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and make a nice ball. So what I'm doing is I'm cupping my hands and then just going right into the center, just like that. Stretching the dough, making a beautiful round ball. Add a little bit of flour to my bowl so it doesn't stick and plop that right in. And then I'm going to put a damp towel over this, just like that. And then I'm going to put it in a warm spot. I'm going to use my oven because there's no draft. You don't want any drafts. You want it to be nice and warm. So now our dough has been proofing for about two hours, so it's doubled in size. Does not look beautiful. So we're just gonna punch that down, see how it just oozes down right away. And then we're just gonna pull it away from our bowl. And then we're just gonna give that just a quick knead. This should make about two large loaves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this in half. Just like that. Look at that, see all those beautiful bubbles? It's gonna be gorgeous. So now I'm gonna take my one, and what I wanna do now is I don't wanna over knead it, but I just wanna fold it into itself, just like this. Just fold it into itself. Stretch and fold, just like that. So now you can make it any shape you want. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour here. And with this one, I think I'm just going to make a 
nice oval shape just like that. So just like a regular traditional loaf. I'm going to put that on parchment paper. And then I'm going to cover it up again and then leave that for about another hour. Our loaf has finished proofing. Then what we want to do is we want to just put a little bit of water. I'm just going to do three scores here. My mom always puts some sesame seeds on the bread. So now we, we're going to put it in a 375 degree oven. And then what I'm going to do, I've got a cast iron pan in the bottom of the oven. I'm just going to add some cold water. And what that's going to do is going to create some steam. And that steam is going to give us a beautiful crust. So now we're going to wait around 45 minutes, pull it out, and we're going to have beautiful, beautiful bread. Our bread's all done. It's been in the oven for about one hour. The way you can tell if the bread is done you simply tap it, and if it sounds hollow, you know it's ready. Ready to go. So there you have it. Mama Filippo's famous Greek bread. Keep cooking, and see you soon.